this year's 2015 debate topic. The controversy of the issue surrounding surveillance began back in right around June 2013 when former contractor defense uh, contractor Edward Snowden met journalist Glenn Greenwald. Edward Snowden had a group of thousands of files that he had gotten from his days working with the NSA and had become aware of the fact that the NSA was actually using those files and using technology, the internet, called mass data, we'll discuss that later, to actually invade the privacy uh, and liberties of a lot of Americans, most all Americans in the United States. The disclosure shocked many people, including elected officials, representatives, who were unaware of the surveillance. Civil rights advocates viewed the surveillance as an assault on people's privacy and their liberty, while law enforcement and national security officials saw mass surveillance programs and other targeted surveillance programs, for that matter, are based on individual suspicion as well as an essential weapon to fight terrorism. Terrorism is a hot-button issue because of the events of 9-11. So anything that involves a reduction or curtailing of our ability to protect ourselves from terrorism draws in a lot of different emotions. Since the release of the original story, the controversy has become front-page news around the world. With more and more problematic programs described by the leaks of Snowden, the news stories appear daily, making it easier for individuals, your students, your coaches, debaters, families, and friends to know about this particular subject. It is a very timely matter. The federal mass surveillance program that has been revealed through the spring of 2014 are cataloged by Glenn Greenwald's most recent book, No Place to Hide, which I would suggest, which I believe is a reading that is essential to this year's topic. Lauren uh, Petritz uh, also met Glenn Green, I'm sorry, John uh, Edward Snowden in Hong Kong, and as well had access to these documents as well. There are several articles, YouTube videos, and movies that have, been in, that have been introduced because of this particular issue. Those you will find also in your packet and I think are well worth your, worth your time. Although this recent controversy uh, over these issues is relatively new, mass federal surveillance programs have actually been around for decades. The resolution extends beyond the programs including in any surveillance program conducted by federal law enforcement, even if there are raised, uh, or even if there are focused on preventing more traditional crimes. Targeted in nature, rather than based on mass surveillance. Of course, there are many cases of intersections between mass and targeted surveillance. Targeted surveillance is more so focusing on a particular small group or individuals. Mass surveillance is a general sweeping of every individual. It uses cell phone data, it uses internet um, tracking, it uses uh, market uh, companies that market to you, the way in which they gather information from you from the internet. So these two things would be very, very important themes throughout the entirety of the debate, uh, debate year. The topic pre uh, presents not only a lot of interesting issues, but also takes a very current, very current issue head on. Issues such as police brutality, issues such as um, disease surveillance, issues such as financial surveillance are all incorporated within the, ma in, in the mantra of what it is we're discussing today. As mentioned in the beginning, new surveillance programs that were just uh, the original part of the surveillance program are regularly disclosed. Just as recently, a surveillance program designed to catch hackers uh, was revealed back in May. Congress amended the Patriot Act to require phone companies now to collect and store metadata, which will be a term defined in the packet, and the NSA obtained a warrant from the uh, FISA courts, F-I-S-A, that is also defined in the packet, to search it. I will, furthermore, throughout these videos, we will examine key terms of the resolution, discuss important aspects uh, both the AF and negative strategies and introduce most of the concepts to you. By the time you finish uh, listening to these videos, you should have a good idea of what the most main arguments should be and also how they will play out for your consideration for your debaters, both novice, JV, and varsity. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and see, we'll talk to you soon with our next uh, topic.